This is a video response for a country prepper. You've canned some things and you've lost liquid from your jars and you want to know why. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is raw food has air in it and when you cook that food the air is released. So if you have a jar full of raw food and um, actually it can appear to be a full jar of food but actually it could be um, two-thirds food and one-third air and then after you can it that's what you end up with a jar that is two-thirds full of food and one-third full of the air that was formerly in that food and um, because of this the candy books recommend that you um, cook your foods first or um, at least bring them get them very hot before you put them into the jars uh, and, and you will avoid that the issue of ending up with a jar, you know, full of air. And um, here I have some jars of apples, and um, this jar I hot packed the apples, and this jar I raw packed the apples. This jar the apples were cooked first, and as you can see, I have a jar full of apples. And this jar I put the apples in raw, and then I filled them with. Um, hot boiling syrup and after it was water bath canned you can see the apples still have air in them because they're floating and that's fine if they um, they float but the the ones that are floating above the syrup line will darken over time so uh, I prefer to keep all of my foods below liquid so that you don't have that um, issue with the darkening uh, that with everything that sits above the liquid so, um, whenever you're canning, it's preferable to cook the food first unless the food is too delicate to withstand that additional cooking. In this case, these apples were too delicate to, to end up uh, so that I could use them for the apple pies. Uh, peaches are another thing that you usually raw pack because... Uh, they can't withstand that additional cooking and it's fine to um, water bath canned fruits uh, I know you were more comfortable with the idea of pressure canning your oranges but you really didn't need to do that and here's some grapefruit and oranges that I've canned and I'd put the raw fruits in the jar and then I filled it with the boiling syrup and uh, I uh, left half inch head space and then processed them in the water bath canner. And um, the processing time they give you is sufficient to make the, jar, the food safe to eat, and, but yet the air still remains in the food. That's why they're floating versus having that whole pocket of air at the top like you have on yours. With yours, the pressure canning cooked all that air out of your oranges and um, you ended up with all the air in the top of the jar. Uh, and the, the canning books, they can be difficult to read. You know, they wrote these as an insurance policy to make sure that people can safely and that they stay in business. But, uh, and you have to read these things like it is what it is. It's an insurance policy, and you have to hang on every word in these things. And they explain the difference between the the hot pack and the raw pack. This is the Ball Blue book and it's on page 11 under filling jars. And like I said, you have to hang on every word, but here it says, the hot pack method is preferred for nearly all vegetables, meats, poultry, seafoods, and most fruits. And then they um, tell you here, foods that would be delicate after they're cooked, such as whole peaches, are usually easier to handle if they are packed um, raw packed and the books are deceiving and that if you want pretty much anything you want to can if I'm sure if I look up apples here then they're going to tell me um, the processing times the methods for uh, of hot pack and a raw pack and act as if makes no difference you know whatever you want to do and of course people want to do whatever's fastest and easiest and they generally will go with the, the raw pack and in the end end up with the worst results so um like i said the uh, hot pack is the 
if you really want nice results with your canning, the hot pack is the way to go. I always try to use hot jars, hot lids, hot rings, and the food going into that jar. I want that hot as well and um, pre-cooked if at all possible. So that's the reason why your oranges ended up that way. And another thing that can cause this is if you're canning um, something and you're putting it in the jar cold like um, like a tomato sauce or a spaghetti sauce for example or, or tomatoes and you put them in there cold and then when that food gets hot it expands and if you started out with um, say spaghetti cold spaghetti sauce in there and you left a inch headspace when that spaghetti sauce gets hot and expands it's going to you're going to lose your proper headspace and it'll push right out the top of those jars so um, that's another reason why uh, it you will actually lose some of the contents of your jar and um, like I said it's hot pack is the preferred method unless the food is too delicate to withstand the additional cooking um, to, to get it hot going in the jar. So, uh, that's most likely what happened to you. Hope it helps.